Hello my friends, this is FS Russia again and I've got a pretty cool video for you today but before I get to the weapon I wanted to remind you all, I've been uh, saying it on Facebook and Twitter for over a month now this weekend, it's the, uh, the 18th uh, through the 20th I'm going to be at CPX Sports in uh, Joliet, Illinois which is just south of Chicago and we're going to have a big paintball game there, it's called Living Legends going to be over 1,000 players there so if you guys want to come and play with me just go to, uh, there's a link in the description, it's uh, cpxsports.com and uh, we're going to be playing paintball, going to have a good time. But uh, what I've got here, this is an MKA 1919. This is a 12 gauge shotgun even though it looks like an AR-15 and uh, I've got a 10 round extended mag here. These do not come standard right now from them, had to get this one uh, special made. And I put a nice paint job on mine, you're not going to find them red and silver like this so First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to chop that tree down. Everyone's always talking about shooting trees down with guns and you always see it in movies. We're going to see exactly how many shots it takes to take that tree down, so let's get started. This is going to take a while. Okay, so we've got over 150 rounds into that tree and we are making some progress, we're almost all the way through it, but I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of the shotgun beating the shit out of me, so I started thinking about the old lollipop commercial, you know, you got the little girl and she asks the owl how many licks it takes to get to the center and he says one, two, and then he bites the shit out of it and says three, so we're going to take a bite out of the tree. Well, the tree's still there, but I just saw the coolest thing I've ever seen. That tree just shot a smoke ring past us about uh, a meter wide and it kept going into the woods. I guess we'll just have to keep it up. So, uh... Went over there to grab some more ammunition and I guess that was all it could take. That was 220 shots plus 3 ounces of indirect explosive. My shoulder is beat to shit, but we got it down. Let's try something else. Okay, so uh, every now and then we come up with an idea that I just don't want to do. And this is one of them. I, I, I said no to this idea like five videos in a row but it looks like we're going to do it now. So I've got buckets of paint all inside of this tree. I got 10 gallons of paint, got my 12 gauge here and uh, I sent someone to go get the, uh, the paint proof suit so that I could keep filming today but this thing is about tissue paper thin. The, uh, it's raining a little bit and the rain's actually coming through so I'm pretty sure I'm about to ruin everything I'm wearing and probably be painted for a while so let's see what we can do. And I can't even aim because of the face shield. And that's why I've not wanted to do this video. Let's try one more thing. Okay, so believe it or not, filling a shotgun up with paint is not good for it. So instead of going back and cleaning that other one, I just grabbed my extra. This is uh, how they shipped out to me. You've got the carry handle here, front sight out here. It's all black, of course. And I got the five round magazine stuck in this one. Loaded it up with some 12 gauge slugs. And we're going to see if we can blow those concrete blocks apart down there. So let's see just how powerful a 12 inch slug is.
So you can see that is a lot of power when you've got a 12 inch slug. That's one ounce going at like 1300 feet per second. So it's a lot of power. Well, that's all I got for you today. This weekend, like I said at the beginning, I'll be in Chicago. So check the link in the description if you guys want to hang out, come play some paintball. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, have a nice day.